Hello, I'm Ben Wade and in this Unleash You tutorial, you are going to learn what websites are and how they work. We'll cover domain names, hosting, content management systems. In fact, in this tutorial series, we'll show you step by step how to build a website using all those things together. So stay tuned at the end for how to get access to that. And now let's dive into what is a website. So what is a website? We look at them all the time, but what are they? Well, by definition, a website is just a collection of documents or files that you can access through the internet. And usually, they look something like this. Now, in order to be able to look at a website, people use a program called a browser. The most popular browsers are Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Safari. Now, a browser's job is to make the code into something that the user can look at and use. But where do websites come from? How does your browser get the information for them? Well, the documents or files that make up websites are stored or hosted on computers called servers. The server's job is to host the information files and make them available to be sent whenever they are requested. When you tell your browser to look at a website, it sends a request to the server where the website is hosted through the internet. The server responds by sending the information for that page back to your browser, which displays it so you can see it. To coordinate all of this, any device that connects to the internet is given a unique address. This is called an IP address. IP addresses usually look something like this. Now for most people, trying to remember an IP address isn't very easy. So to help with this, names that are easier to remember are used to substitute for the IP addresses. These names are called domain names. That way, instead of trying to remember something like this, all you have to remember is a name like this. Now domain names are set up with companies called registrars. And the registrar's job is very simple. When a request is sent out for information from a domain name, the registrar makes sure that request is sent to the IP address of the server where that website is actually stored. Then the server sends the information back so the browser can display it. Now, in order for a website to function, it has to have a place where it's stored, which is referred to as a server. A server can be anything from a computer in someone's house to a massive collection of storage computers in a data center. Smaller websites don't need a lot of space, and hundreds or even thousands of them can be stored on a single server. This is referred to as shared hosting. On the other hand, huge websites that get a lot of traffic may need lots of servers working together to keep up. Google and Facebook, for example, have millions of servers all working together to provide all the information requested from their site. Most people setting up a new website will start by renting some space on a server. This space is called a hosting account. Once a person has set up a domain name for their site and a hosting account to host their website, now it's time for them to actually create the website itself. And remember, websites themselves are just information you can access online. Now they can either be extremely simple, like this website, or they can be massively complex with millions of servers contributing to them, like Google or Facebook. To help build and manage websites easily, many people use programs called content management systems. Content management systems basically manage a website the way the operating system on your computer manages your computer for you. And they are nice because they allow people to build a website without actually having to build all of the code by hand. Now, in order for you to set up a website, you mainly need three things. Item one, you need to set up your domain name with a registrar. Item two, you need to set up a hosting account so that your website will have a place to live and then make sure that your domain name is pointed at that server's address. And item number three, you need to build the website itself. Now this may sound daunting to you, especially if this is the first time you've done any of this, but don't worry, here's the best part. In the rest of the tutorials in this collection, you'll be walked step by step through tools and resources that show you how to do everything you've learned about in this tutorial. So there you have it, the basic nuts and bolts of how websites work. All right, so to wrap things up, you learn what websites are and how they work. The rest of the collection of tutorials is laid out step by step at Unleash You so it's easy for you to navigate. And you can look for links in the description or on our page if you're on our website. And of course, be sure to like, favorite, comment, 
share this video so other people have an easier time finding it. Also, subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook, basically follow us wherever you find us. You never miss anything we put together for you. All right, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more tutorials coming up.